The rule of law is what these people are demanding. They came to the Palace of Justice to show support for a judge who is facing a political backlash for charging the caretaker Prime Minister Hassan Dieb and former ministers with negligence over the Beirut port explosion. Fadi Sawan was supposed to question them this week, but the defendants accuse him of violating the Constitution by overstepping his powers and are refusing to comply. It's his move. Either he takes a decision that shows that he is truly working for justice in Lebanon, or he don't do that, and this shows that the whole decision that he took and everything that happened in the past two weeks was just another uh, scenario. The case is now politicized. Leading politicians and religious officials, friends and foes rallied behind Dieb, accusing Sawan of bypassing parliament and are calling his decision selective justice. The judge has Some say Sawan could have avoided criticism if he explained that more officials will be charged. Judge Fadi Sawan has the jurisdiction to indict and to uh, file a claim against anybody. Once the judge has submitted to the parliament, now I think he has the total and complete jurisdiction jurisdiction over the port was in the hands of many security agencies, ministries and political parties, and the ammonium nitrate blamed for triggering the explosion was stored in Warehouse 12 since late 2013. That is why some politicians believe the charges are about settling political scores. They question why former ministers linked to President Michel Aoun, for example, have not been charged. The president has denied accusations that he intervened in the judicial probe. The families of the 200 people killed believe charges of negligence are not enough and that many more officials need to provide answers. We want justice for the blood of the victims. We want to know who caused the death of our children. We are with you, Sawan. In a country with a history of a lack of accountability and the judiciary long accused of being politicized, this is uncharted territory. But justice here is now at stake. Zena Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.